Hello everyone and welcome back to Law and Game. My name is Eric and this is Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura. And today we are going to start an impressive, incredible, and um, immense campaign. Today begins the legend. The legend of Moose. That's not Moose. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play through the game on normal difficulty with a character who is just going to be all sorts of fun. So before we do that, let me just explain. Arcanum is a um, old school-ish RPG from the late 90s. It's set in a sort of magic kind of steampunk setting. Uh, this is the character creation screen. So you can choose your gender, you can choose your race, and you can choose a background and then a portrait for that. Uh, there's not many to choose from. It's an old game. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, here's all your starting stats and all that stuff. What we're going to do is we are going to be half ogre. We are going to make ourselves moose. And this time I'll spell it right. And you, there's no female. And moose looks like this. Now the reason why we're choosing half ogre is because we get high strength. Uh, I think we get a little bit extra dex. Uh... Well, 10% damage resistance. We lose a beauty. Uh, where's beauty? Where's beauty? Maybe it's just charisma. No, beauty. There it is. Um, and we lose prowling, which we're not going to use, and intelligence. Intelligence is very important, and we keep it as low as possible. I'll explain why in a little bit. Now, we're also going to choose a background. Now, the backgrounds can basically affect your stats and give you other kind of bonuses to start out with. And it's also just kind of a fun extra thing for character creation because, you know, your character then has a background and more personalized. We are going to choose a very, very fitting, fitting background for Moose. Moose ran away with the circus. Why did Moose run away with the circus? <laughs> to become a strong man. That's right, our starting strength is at 18. Why is this significant? <laughs> Why is this significant? Because we are going to wreck everything. Uh, we Lower intelligence, lower willpower, lower perception. It, none of that matters. None of it matters at all. We got the strength. We got the dex. We'll be beautiful in our own way. And we'll, we'll, we'll find a way to carry on. Alright, so this is Moose. He is a male half-ogre who ran away with the circus when he was young. Now, this is the... Ba main character screen that we're going to be inter interacting with for most of the game. As you'll see, there's a lot of stuff going on, so I'll explain it bit by bit. This is the alignment meter. It basically says how good or evil you are. These are your stats. You can spend one of your points to put in any of those, and it'll rearrange and affect various other things. Uh, so there's strength, constitution, dexterity, beauty, intelligence, willpower, perception, and charisma. Perception is good for ranged weapons, dexterity is for dodging, and you can get the rest. You can also just spend a point to get some raw stats. And there's health, and in this system, fatigue. Now, whether you're a mage or a warrior or whatever, you're going to use fatigue during combat. And you'll take fatigue damage during combat. And if you take enough fatigue damage, you get knocked the freak out. That's right. You can get knocked out in combat, and then just lie there as you get beaten to death. Uh, the first button, this is for skills, which has already been selected. So, these are the combat skills, thieving skills, social skills, and technology skills. Now, we're not going to spend too much time with most of this stuff. But, we are going to spend time picking locks, because picking locks is good, and it's based off dexterity, which we will be leveling up. We'll level up once right now. We also want to be really good at combat. So, we'll, we'll level our melee and our dodge, when we need to level up further. Nine. We did that. Oh, we did that. So that's going to be our starting skills. Now, the other things. Uh, before I click these buttons, I'm going to explain something else. This, you can also choose an additional scheme. We're not dealing with that either. Go away. Go away. No scheme. No scheme. Okay, well, that's gone. There we go. Uh, there is the magic versus tech meter. Now, in this game, basically, technology and magic don't get along. So the more magical you are, the more technology breaks around you. And the more technological you are, the more sp spells will fail. 
So there's no such thing as like a gunslinger mage because if you're magical, your guns will just break and blow up in your face, and that would be bad. Um, so basically, uh, Moose doesn't care about any of these two buttons. Moose is just strong. Moose is brave. Brave. He will be brave. Uh, Moose is proud. And uh, Moose will be liked. He's not going to be pretty, but he's going to be liked. And that's about it. Okay, now the buttons we're not going to use. This is the technology button. Basically, you can spend intelligence, or if you get intelligence, you can spend your points and learn how to craft stuff. And there's a whole bunch of stuff to craft, and there's way more than just these. You can, like, find blueprints and mix and match, like, electricity and explosives and make, like, an electrical bomb or EMB, or whatever you want to call it. So, if you're interested in this game, I highly recommend you make just a Doctor character and uh, go through that, because you can make your own guns and all that stuff. And it's really cool. It's really fun. Now, the magic. We will be taking some magic, because I want to keep this at zero. And we're going to level up our lockpicking skill. Uh, so, each, uh, just for example, lower that. So each time you look, raise lockpicking, it goes up to 5 on the tech meter. We want to keep it at 0, just for uh, balance, so we're going to take at least 5 spells. Uh, I have not completely identified which ones I want to take, um, but strength is definitely going to be one of them we take. So we'll give, give ourselves a little bonus strength at the cost of some fatigue, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. We got, we got we got temp plenty of time. It's gonna be a while before we do any of this. So, this is uh this is Moose in a nutshell. Make sure I actually got that. Okay. Now we get a little bit of starting money, a little bit of starting equipment. We get to pick which we want. I'll go through and explain some of the equipment. And so, for each item you'll see at the bottom of the screen, I can't then mouse. Oh, I can. So Mace, that's the name. Uh, D one through four, FT one through eight. The D is for damage it does to health. The FT is fatigue damage. So blunt weapons will do more fatigue damage and like, let's see, for example. Yeah, swords will do, do more damage and blunt weapons do more fatigue damage so you can like knock someone out. What's the benefit to that? Well, usually mages have less um, health but more, fat more fatigue because they're casting spells. And like... Warriors will have more health, but less fatigue, so if you really wanted to think about it in weapon swap, you would swap around for that, but, uh, we're moose, we don't care. So, we're just gonna take a sword, because we'll kill them all dead. Uh, the other stuff, the weight, that's just how much it, how heavy it is, there's a speed rating and a durability rating, uh, and that about does it. Now, we got 197 gold left over, we're gonna go ahead and pick up the lock picks. You need these to pick any sort of door, and we're going to need to pick some doors. Uh, we're not doing that yet. And so, 137 gold. What do we want to do? I think... Hmm. I think everything else is pretty much too expensive. Yeah. So... We'll just take some boots. Alright. That's good for some starting equipment. So, I'm going to go ahead and shut up for a little bit, because we're going to get an intro video. Now, it's going to be a little bit glitchy, just because this is an old game, and it's not recording properly, and not displaying properly, but, um, you know, most of it's going to be there, so, enjoy. And, there we go.
help. Help me, please. Oh, thank you, my friend. I haven't got much time. <coughs> you must find the boy. Find the boy and give him back his ring. Now he will know what needs to be done. <coughs> Now listen, listen to me. We had to do it. He did unspeakable things to us, and we, we had no choice but to do as he said. And there are so few of us left, but the work is almost finished. And then the evil, oh, you can't imagine. He's coming back to destroy everything, everything and everyone. Now, please. Just find the boy. <coughs> Tell him that I escaped. I came back to warn. <coughs> he will know what to do. You, my friend, it's all up to you. Zeppelin and, and the fire and the altar says that do you have any idea what all of this means so at this point I'm gonna explain a few more things um, this game does have some voice acting mainly just for the important characters uh, so when they go I'll let them speak just for the story's sake also uh, what was very important about us having low intelligence is something kind of unique with Arcanum is your dialogue options become stupid when you're stupid. <laughs> it's one of my favorite aspects about this game. So, if you played this game and you have not yet made a stupid character, shame on you. You have missed some great things. Uh, but hopefully, <laughs> this will make up for it. Uh, so, I'll, uh, I'll read out Moose's part. What you say? You speak! I, I mean, of, of course you speak. What am I, a blathering idiot? Wait, what, what did you say? Maybe I should be writing all of this down. You silly guy, what you talking about? By the gods! I cannot believe that the Living One has been reincarnated in the body of an imbecile! What? You are the reincarnation of... Uh... Well... I'm not exactly sure who it was, but uh... You are here to save us! Who? Save you? Yes! You have been reborn! You are a powerful elf! You, uh... Oh, bloody hell, this is ridiculous! Why did the gods return your spirit in this defective shell? If only I wasn't so new to the Panari religion. Follow me, idiot! I mean, oh, living one. I need to take you down the mountain to Shrouded Hills to meet with the Elder Joachim. He'll know what to do with you. Oh, The path out of here leading down to Shrouded Hills is down to the southeast. We'll stop by the Panari Shrine on the way out. See if it makes any of this any more clear. We should look for any other survivors before we leave, though. What do you think? Um, okay. And now we look. And we pick up things. Passport from a man named Preston Radcliffe. Can we read it? Can we... Anything else? No. Uh, hold on. Can we read it? We cannot do anything with it. And a matchbook from the Roseboro Inn. Very interesting. The story delves deeper and deeper. Uh, and then a ring. This is the ring we got. This is an old silver ring. The initials GB are set in relief upon its face. And the words P. Shiler and Sons are inscribed on the inside of the band. So, we have some clues to start off with. And we have some things to pick up, like wine, and metal plates, and all sorts of other fun things that are just lying around the crash site. Uh, there are no other survivors, but there are some people who have some things on them. Like this guy, he's got some gold and some electrolyte solutions. What are electrolytes? It's what plants crave. Come on, see? We will wreck the wolves. All of them. That one. Ooh, shiny. Rah! Oh, wait, what? There's a wolf here. What? Oh, you're... 
Okay, I got it, Virgie, don't worry. Me kill for you, Virgie. You nice guy. You not so nice all time, but nice most times. No, I have been rooted. Die! <laughs> boom! Boom, boom, there we go. And a magic chest, full of magic gold and magic potions. I'm okay with that. Alright, let's keep on exploring. Probably clear out the first area, and uh, ooh, sprites. Or kites. They're sprites. They're essentially sprites. Die, scum! Die, scum! And that sound means we level up. We'll deal with that in a second. Okay. Keep on exploring, keep on finding stuff. Wreck it. Do, do, do. Ooh, a letter. What? Wait. Hold on. That's the way to show Got it. Got it. Good hit, sir. Alright, and you'll see your health and uh, fatigue regenerate over time. Not in combat, though. Uh, red shirt guy. He's got a camera and a thermometer. Do, 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 do. Now, something kind of cool about this game is uh, if you'll remember back to the main intro screen, also, they'll pick stuff up just if they get close. Uh, if you remember the main intro screen, there were there was two options. We could make a character, or we could choose a character. And each one of these people who are, who are dead are one of the people that you could have chosen. And you can identify them based on their name. So, uh, it's just kind of a nice way of the living one could have been anyone. <laughs> it happens to be Moose. Oh, Moose. You so silly. Biggies! That's the way to show Got those it. Bastards, I... And then this is the uh, the strange flying machine is like nothing you've ever seen. You notice a pla a plaque on it that bears the legend Maxim Machinery, Cal Caladron, Caladon. What is this? It seems a strange flying device, but much smaller than the blimp. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I think this thing should blimp. Isn't that an ogre among the wreckage? It seems very unlikely that an ogre would have the intelligence to fly such a complex device. Uh, um. Yes, whatever you say, O oh living one. Oh, this is unbelievable. It seems even fate is not without a sense of humor. Hold on. Do you see the amulet that he's wearing? What's that strange symbol on its face? Uh, no. Why am I not surprised? Oh well, let's be on, let's be on our way. Uh, okay. And be careful. These wolves are none too friendly. Alright, take amulet. This is an amulet. It has a strange symbol on its face. That's of an eye in a hexagram. Sounds very occultist. We'll deal with that later. Springs! Springs are fun. We'll be making slinkies later. We won't! But we'll be picking stuff up and killing things. And uh, more things. Ooh. Combat noise. Yeah. Okay, Virgil got knocked down. And Virgil's a healer! Yay! This is why we didn't beat him up. Let's go in this cave. Moo! Tiny mooses! Tiny little mooses to squish and to love and to squish and to squish again. Junkery. Do do do. Ooh, barrels. Okay. And do 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 do. <gasps> mooses! Little baby mooses. Are you ah! I mean, better luck next time. Ooh, that was a hard hit. Our suit. Our nice suit. It's taking so much damage. Virgil, we have question. Where baby mooses come from? You not know? Okay, me not know neither. Alright. As you see, not everything is voice acted. Late 90s games. Woohoo! The dynamite, that is key. We'll have to keep that for later. As are these grenades. Maybe. Alright. See what this guy wants. The spirit appears to be in great pain. Please, I beg of you. The pain! What happened to did to you? I was cursed by an evil priest. My name was Charles 
Brig Brego? Brego. My friend and I asked only for something to eat. Some sustenance. We were poor and wandering, and he cursed us. My friend cursed with madness, attacked me, killed me. The pain. I am cursed to be held to this realm. Unable to be released. Please, I need your help. Okay, what I need to do? Need to kill priest. Arbalon. He lives here. He points to your map. Only his death will free me. I want something for killing guy. I know of a treasure. Buried for years. Okay, where it be? Complete the task, and then I will tell you. Okay. Okay. We're gonna keep on moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Let's leave this cave of unhappiness and uh, head on down. See if there's anything else left to kill in this area before we move along. I don't think so. Uh, it appears we have killed most things. Alright, let's keep on going. To the shrine! You got something to say? The altar should clear things up for us a bit. Hmm. It says, uh... And the spirit of Nazruddin shall be reborn on wings of fire in hills shrouded in fog and fight the last battle with the evil one. Uh, who evil one? I'm sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess we better find out, considering you're supposed to fight him. Oh, we go now. Yes, of course. The shrine before you is crude, made of rough stone and wood. Carved into one of the stones is this. And his spirit shall be reborn on wings of fire in the hills shrouded in fog. Archaon 516. That provided no help. Whatsoever. I also see no wood. Let's keep going! To Shrouded Hills! What's this? Hold there. What are you doing up here? Uh, I got out of blimp. It crashed. I mean no disrespect, uh, sir, but I don't trust this bastard one bit. Bloody convenient he just happened to show up here just now, don't you think? Oh, excuse my language, uh, sir. Me also think it's very convenient that you show up too, which is not an option. Uh, so we'll go with the only option. Uh, what I do, Virgil? I've uh, dealt with buggers, uh, <laughs> individuals like this before. Perhaps you'll let me talk with him for a few minutes. Here's the thing that's going to be a big part of our campaign. Uh, this. <laughs> our character, Moose, is going to think that Virgil is stupid because Virgil thinks Moose is an elf. And Moose is not an elf. I do talking, Virgil. You stupid. I smart. Fine. I'm sure you know what's best to do. But be careful with him. I don't like the look in his eye. I do talking, Virgil. You stupid. I smart. The man gives Virgil a hard look, then turns to you, nodding. Yes, that's more reasonable. Now, why are you here? Oh, uh, I got out of blimp. It crashed. Then you were in the IFS Zephyr? And survived? Did you happen to see a gnome? His name was Preston Radcliffe. Peastone? He silly dead he silly dead little guy. He over there. Did he say anything to you before he died? Yeah, he say help ring boy uh, this Ah, I see. I'm really very sorry. Why you be sorry? You know silly dead guy? Nah, he's gonna attack us. He's an assassin. We got him. This man was a hired killer. Someone doesn't want anyone walking away from this blimp crash. Uh, maybe something to do with little man? Hmm. Yes, that may very well be the case. It might be a good idea to find out who owns that ring. We need go to town, maybe? Yes, let's go to Shrouded Hills. To Shrouded Hills. Other things. Another amulet. Ooh. 
The intrigue grows and grows and grows. And we have two levels to level up. Two points. Alright. We gotta do some decision making times. Game day decisions to be made to do stuff. Uh, I think we just do strength. Damage bonus plus 20. <laughs> it's so freaking good. Uh, okay. Wait a second. That is... It appears to be a graphical error of some sort. Whatever. Um, we're not dealing with those. We need to get dex to 12 to get these to the next level. I don't think throwing is really going to be something we're going to worry about. Uh, nor are we going to worry about picking locks just yet. We need this. Willpower of 6 before we can get our first spell. Um, okay. Here's what we'll do. We'll do one willpower and one dex. That way our speed is higher and we're a bit more able to hit things. And that's what we're going to go with. Alright, so that'll go ahead and do it for this episode. This has been Law 1 Gaming. If you enjoyed what you saw, consider subscribing and sticking around for more. And uh, seeing the rest of the legend of Moose. Otherwise, that'll do it for this episode. So, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!